about a game. It's a red skin. lovely people welcome back to my channel how are you all doing and today i want to take you all through how i style my hair for sunday as usual i have my hair in my african threading today is saturday so i'm trying to style it for church tomorrow okay and if today is your first time of seeing my face my name is erika mintz so let's just get right into the video I'm just gonna have to say this. So I'll comb my hair to detangle it, of course. And then I'll apply my hair butter. This is a whipped butter that I made specifically for my hair with some essential oils. So I'll just apply the butter and then I'll apply a generous amount to it because I want my hair to you know look shiny because I'm going to use the gel. Then I'll dry my hair so that the butter will like melt into the scalp because i don't want it looking all that whitish on my hair then i'll go in with my leave-in conditioner as usual to make my hair softer and easier to you know maneuver <laughs> then i'll of course add my hair oil my wonder go hair oil and then i'll massage it to the base of my hair throughout the scalp and then you know throughout the entire hair again i'll blow dry it so that i'll get the products properly inculcated into my hair comb through it you know to ensure that yes there is even distribution so i'll begin with my part 10 and there's a tricky part of course i struggle with my pattern but i know i'm going to do a good work so yeah So I have the first part and I'm going to hold the remaining of the hair into like a very loose band so that it doesn't interrupt with what I am doing. I'm going to make another part in a little bit at the back and then you know separate it from the hair I will not be using like working with and then I will hold that one also with you know a rubber band so that it doesn't interrupt with what I am doing. So at this point, I'm going to, you know, make the first section with where I am working with, okay? So of course, I'm going to hold the rest of the hair with a rubber band. I don't want any sort of interruption. And I'm going to come through and add some water to it, like spray some water on it. You know, for a natural hair girl, water and conditioner are your best friend. So I'll spray a little bit of water and and then the product I'll be using today is the air cream okay I wanted to use the edge control but I realized that they are both you know like similar in nature and I didn't want to waste that one because that one is pretty much expensive more expensive than this so I'm using the air cream I just want to try if it will work so yes I apply it all around the section I have taken using a good old toothbrush like I have about 10 old toothbrushes that I use for stuff like this and then my edges and I mean you can do same don't waste those toothbrush okay then I'm going to use these small rubber bands and then hold it in place you know because it's the first time that i'm doing this i wasn't you know very firm with holding the hair with a rubber band so if you want to do it please if you hold it with a rubber band like this like stretch it out and then you know make it tighter before this is like a try and error hair so everything was raw and i think i'm gonna try it again if it works out and then i'll do things more better so yes as you can see i've taken my second sections and then i'm spraying with some water i'm going to go in with the product as well using my toothbrush so that i can hold that part as well with you know the rubber band but then i just had a change of mind i want to twist this part you know so that it doesn't become like you know it doesn't shrink it doesn't come like so hard and then shrink with you know the exposure so i twist it out and leave it because i'm going to join it with the second section 
i hope you get what i'm saying so yes i'm going to apply my product with my good old toothbrush again so yeah this is basically like going to be what i'll be doing with the rest of you know most part of the hair there you have it i'm going to hold this side with the rubber band and then i'm going to join the first twist to the second one now this is the mistake i made my hair became like too heavy for the rubber band so at a point those at the back got torn so i had to change it but um, if you're doing it you want to you know hold it and then use a different set of rubber bands like double it or you know use three or something and then you hold the other part you can see the products appearing white this is because my hair is wet and it all went away once it dried up so have no fears so yeah i'm going to do the same with the last section if you have like a shorter hair you can go in for four or five sections because i'm sure that twist wouldn't be as heavy as mine is looking and it will appear nicer okay the practice makes perfect i'm sure my next one will be nicer so yeah i'm going to apply the products and then hold it and join the other twist to it but with the last one i'm not going to twist it out because after all is said and done i'm going to hold the back in a bun a pony and then you know yes i make a bun yeah so i'm going to make the same pattern as i made on the other side so in all i'm going to have like three big sections and i'll section each section into three smaller sections you get it so i'm going to stop talking right here and you know show you exactly what i'm doing so do the watching <laughs> Yeah, so as you can see i'm applying a bit of product to where i will twist because i don't want it to appear bulky so if you want your twist to be you know a bit manageable and not too bulky you want to apply a bit of product to it so that you can easily control it and as i said when it's properly dried out all these whitish products are going to disappear voila there you have it i am done with you know all the sections and guys i'm already loving this hair i wish i perfected it before making this video but i shall sure do it again so i'm going to comb and brush it and then you know put it all into a bun yeah a big bun so now i'm going to roll my big pony into a very small bun so that it doesn't appear fuzzy you know throughout the week and as you can see there's this yellowish rubber band that's what i was saying the black small ones were you know unable to hold my hair because of how heavy that side was so once you're done you want to secure the band with another rubber band and guys i am so loving the hair look at this hair imagine doing a bougie makeup for that wedding guys <laughs> 
so you want to tame the back with you know a bit of gel if you have hair like mine flying all over the place so there you have it i'm thinking of you know accessorizing it with some pins you know just to secure it and you know yes i'll go my way i love this hair guys i love this hair and since this is just a try and error i am going to do it again you know this time perfectly with you know stronger bands and yeah so as we always do it you want to lay those edges tame those edges you know whatever baby hairs you've been doing for yourself like you want to you know top it up with your bougie hair okay with another good old toothbrush of course <laughs> I think I love this hairstyle. This is the first time I'm trying it and I really love it. Um, the products are appearing twice on my hair, but I'm sure they'll vanish once they dry up. And I might just, you know, accessorize it a bit with, you know, some, you know, beautiful accessories. I don't know. When I decide to do it, I might, you know, show you all a picture. Okay, this is all I have on this one. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, lovely people.